I want to ask you very quickly, uh, when you heard uh, the response uh, given by the uh, North Central Chairman of, uh, of Makban, uh, Dan Ladi Chiroma, concerning the killings, that essentially they were retaliatory, uh, what were your initial thoughts? At the beginning, I was lost. Lost in the sense that comparison of animals with human beings, human animals and human lives. And also saying 300 cows have been stolen over a period of time. Now, the question is the attack that followed or the attack that took place that time. Is it where the people, those that were killed, were they the ones that stole those cows? And again, the uh, Makban, don't they know there is law in this country where they are supposed to report and ensure that the security agencies track where those their cattle and arrest those perpetrators? And this issue of Makban comparing that with the killings is, is unfortunate. Mm. And then you, find, you, you tend to wonder, those, this is criminality. And criminality, you find out that even the Fulani peoples are involved. I will not be here to defend if any of my brother is a criminal and then I defend him. No. But what I'm saying is that it takes two to tango. And then the issue of uh, to compare to, to, to bring in the issue of Mr. President, President Buhari, uh, did, uh, explanations that killings in Zamfara is more than that of uh, Plateau. The Zamfara situation is different. That of Plateau and Benin. The Zamfara situation is different. Different in the sense that their people are cows are being stolen, but there is no occupation. Have you heard of any occupation? No occupation. But here, people are killed. People move in to live in those villages, so many villages. When President Buhari visited, uh, not when he visited Plateau during his uh, state visit, that time there were killings that were taking place in Basa, that's Basa, local government. The day, we, the day he went, I mean the day before, and also that same day, also in Okos, local government, killings were taking, taking place. Mm. And unfortunately, those that presented the issue to Mr. President, the situation on ground, they said Plateau is peaceful. That's the unfortunate thing. And it is coming from some of our Plateau leaders. Now, the, 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 the situation we find ourselves is that there's a lot of uh, politics in the whole thing. Well, th this, is, this is one of the challenges. When, when the President, for example, some of the people that, you know, kind of, uh, respond on behalf of the president, kind of his position. I've said, look, uh, the the measures that have been taken, that have taken, uh, you know, that have been put in place in terms of the deployments, the security deployments, police and military, uh, 10 billion naira fund to uh, reconstruct settlements across Benue Plateau, Nasarawa. That these are measures taken in good faith uh, to alleviate the sufferings of the people in the, within these states. In, in, in your view, though. Is that just not enough? What more do you think needs to be done, if, if not? But, but, but is that the best thing to do? Is that the best thing to do? Is the, was the government not aware, or didn't the government have credible information, intelligence, that something like this was going to happen? Why don't you nip it on the board? Yes, it might seem as if, yes, these are palliatives, but the palliatives, a lot of people have been killed. Who are going to benefit from the palliatives? Is it uh, those that are because the killings is, is, is a continuous thing. Uh, uh, to what extent does the, the reaction of leaders who are rightly devastated in this period of mourning and violence uh, affect the, the, the ability to move forward and to find a solution? Because we've heard from leaders uh, from Benue, from Plateau, and you know, when killings came to Benue, uh, there was this widely held notion that was put out there that, look, this is a Fulani agenda against the Tiv people. 
Now, with the killings in Plateau, they say this is a Fulani agenda against the people of Bakin Ladi, for example. They call Plateau, it Plateau. A pla Plateau, yes. Uh, in, uh, yes, at large. Yes. And that this is, you know, a, 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 an ethnic agenda, ethnic cleansing, etc. These are the words that you hear. You even hear words like Holocaust. When these kinds of rhetorics are put into the atmosphere, uh, how, how might that affect the ability of, say, the federal government to be able to propose solutions that everybody will buy into if people are made to believe that the federal government is stalwartly against them? You, you see, the, 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 yes, these words. Sometimes these words come as a result of anger, anger being expressed. But then, and then the, the system we have in this country, sometimes if you don't express this anger, they don't take you serious. Because you look at, even in the civil service, government don't seem to understand any language apart from strikes. During dialogues, a lot of shenanigans take place. But when strikes come in, they will now say, no, this is serious. And this is the unfortunate, it's very unfortunate. And to a large extent, the average plateau person, I believe you've been to plateau for a couple of times. Absolutely. The average plateau person is very humane, very hospitable, God-fearing, and loving. If not, all these years, they wouldn't have accommodated the Fulanese. And there is nowhere in Plateau where you say a Fulani is indigenous to this community. They all came. And they are living together, we school together. Some of them have even received indigenous letters from local governments because we were living what? In peace. But with recent developments, People are beginning to wonder, are these people really, are we really brothers? Are we really brothers? Because you allow somebody to use you to come and kill, and then you are relaxed. Look at what, what, uh, what, what happened. If you go to the villages now, you see cattle, the Fulanese, roaming their cattle peacefully. Mm. Nobody is, even when security uh, personnel see them, they won't say anything. But the moment you see young people gathering themselves. Yeah, please go ahead. The, 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 the moment you see young people gathering themselves to maybe try to discuss, to see yeah. how, what do we do? Most often security will come in and then there, there has been cases of killings. Mm. Uh, uh, Mr. Pamgam, you've heard that interview with the Secretary General of Mieti Ala Kautohore. Uh, what is your response? The wall can now see what we are saying. From the response of Saleh al Hassan, you can see how inflammatory his words, generalization, sweeping statements. I believe the civil, uh, the corporate affairs commission that registered their organization should take note of this because an organization that is not law abiding, saying a law that was validly made in Benue that that law is, on a, is, is null and void, then the world should is, see. Is there an inclusive solution to this problem? The solution to this problem is, one, the uh, Fulanese and this Makban and other organizations must accept their positions, mm -hmm. accept their positions, one, in the sense that the, 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 they must change the way they do things and they must accept that they, they are commu the communities they live today in Plateau, in Taraba, in Benue, in other places, in the Middle Belt, these are communities that hosted them for a very long time. So they need to accept that mm. so that they will now dialogue with the people, do this business. This business is a private business. That is just the reality. Okay. And how can a business that is done privately would now be turned to be a government business mm -hmm. and become on? On, on Mr. Rahul. Pam Gam, unfortunately, we have run out of time. I would have loved to have continued this conversation with you, but I do want to thank you for sharing your thoughts with us this morning.